स्टूडेंट यस्टरडे वी हैव सॉल्व वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ द टाइप इन विच कॉस्ट प्राइस और सेलिंग प्राइस इज गिवन एंड प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट इज गिवन टुडे अगेन वी विल सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टाइप एंड द अदर टाइप्स सो जस्ट हैव अ लुक टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज सेइंग बाय सेलिंग एन आर्टिकल फॉर रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड सेवन a person loses 12% find his cost price and loss you have to find cost price in this question and you have to find loss so again it's easy question in this selling price is given as 107 loss person this time loss percent is given as 12% now again we will let cost price as 100 students here you can see in the question it is given loss it means definitely cost price was more that is why we are having loss so if we have suppose cost price as 100 then selling price would have been 100 minus 12 that is 88 so selling price would have been 88 and cost price we have just let it as 100 and that is why we were having loss of 12% so and here selling price is given so when selling price b 88 cp was cp b 100 when selling price b1 cost price b 100 upon 88 and when selling price which is given in the question as then cost price will be 100 upon 88 into now we can solve this just cancel it with 11 11 8 za 88 and 11 6 66 6 and then 11 4 za 44 8 1 8 8 8 za so it will be 800 just it will be so cost price is equal to rupees 8 800 here cost price is 800 and selling price was given as 704 704 so definitely it is having loss so we will find loss cost price minus selling price which will be equal to 800 minus this much subtract it 0 minus 4 is is 6 and then this will be 9 and this will be 0 so 96 is rupees 90 so student don't forget to write rupees after the values after these values whether it is cost price selling price or anything you have to write the unit as rupees so our loss is 96 and cost price was 800 you can just have a look to the question
this was question number 4 we have started from here this question number 4 of exercise 8b and then we have solved here next student you can solve this again i will say that you can solve this question by the alternative method which is given in the book this formula you can use this formula directly or you can solve by the method as we we are doing that is unitary method it's easy method and it's easy to solve but here you are going to learn the formula so that is why i'm not telling you with this method because in this method you are going to learn the formulas but in this unitary method you don't have to learn the formula okay the next question which we are going to solve is question number 7 question 7 you can see a man sells a radio set for rupees 605 and gains 10% at what price should he sell another radio of the same kind in order to gain 16% okay so let's solve this question number 7 a man sells the radio set so it means selling pride price of radio is given as 600 and rupees 605 and he is gaining 10% it means gain percent is given as 10% so when he is gaining it means selling price would have been more than the cost price so if we just let cp as 100 then selling price would have been as 110 because he was gaining so when cp was so when cp is given as 110 selling price cost price is 100 when selling price b1 cost price will be equal to 100 upon 110 and when selling price is 106 then then it will be cost price will be equal to 100 upon 110 into 605 can just solve this 11 ones are 11 11 5s are 55 11 5s are 55 this is so we have found cost price as 550 now we have found the cost price and the question the next price uh, uh, next thing is they are saying at what price should he sell it means we have to find the selling price finally we have to find the selling price in the next part they are saying at what price should he sell another radio of the same kind in order to ga gain 16% so we have found cost price from here now it has become very easy you can use the formula directly or by the unit unitary method which is very much easier than the formula method so when cp b 100 selling price b 116 because it is they are saying that they, it is gaining 16% it means selling price is more so when cp is 1 selling price will be 116 upon 100 and when sell cost price is 
550 selling price will be equal to 116 upon 100 into 550 just you can solve it by yourself it's easy to solve so this is the question number 7 next question is <coughs> Now student, uh, the next questions which are given in your book as question number 9, 10, 11, it's similar type of question, you can solve it by yourself. Next we will see different type question which is given as question number 12. It is saying that John sold an article to Peter at 20% profit and Peter sold it to Mohan at 5% loss. If Mohan paid rupees 912 for the article how much did John pay for it now you have to find the rupees which John has given to purchase the cycle purchase an article so they are saying that Mohan paid rupees 100 and sold 112 for the article and Peter sold it to Mohan at 5% loss So Peter was having a loss of 5% when he sold to Mohan. So when we start from Peter, selling, selling price for Peter will be equal to 912 and he was also having loss of 5%. So from here we can easily find CP by our method of unitary when CP be 100 selling price would have been because it is having loss it means selling price is less than the cost price so it is 95 so when selling price is 95 cost price is 100 when selling price is 1 cost price is 100 by 95 and when selling price is then cost price is 100 and 90, 100 upon 95 into 912 so let's cancel this This is 20, this will be 19, 19 ones are, and 19, it will go 48 times. Just divide it by 19, it will go 48 times. So it will be equal to 20 into 48, which will be equal to 960 rupees, 960. so this was the cost price of peter selling price of peter is 912 cost price of peter is 960 and peter was also having a loss of five percent now they are saying that you have to find the payment of john now john sold the article to peter you can see the question that John sold the article to Peter at 20% profit it means John was having profit so for John for John selling price will be 960 because 
he sold it to peter for rupees 960 60 so the cost price of peter will become the selling price of john so profit is given as 20% profit is given as 20% so from again from here we can find cost price as 100 upon 120 into 960 we'll cancel this and we'll get 800 rupees 800 which is the cost price of john and we have to find the cost price of john in this question <laughs> now move on to the next exercise exercise 8c now exercise 8c you can just see question number 4 which is a different type of question cost price of 20 article is same as the selling price of 16 article you have to find the gain percent so question is saying that cp of 20 articles is given as selling price of 16 article now we will just let cp of one article equal to rupee 1 rupee so cp of 20 article articles will be rupee 20 rupees 20 and selling price cost price of 16 articles will be equal to rupees 16 it's simple and this cost price of 16 articles is equal to the selling price of 20 articles because both are equal cost price of 20 article is equal to cost price of 16 articles so cost price of 16 articles is given as now we have find the cost price of 16 article cost price of 16 article we have just found rupees 16 and cost price selling price of 16 article is given as rupees 20 so now here we got cost price and selling price both now from the question we are seeing that we are gaining because selling price is more so gain is rupees 4 and gain percent will be gain upon 16 into 100 25 percent is the answer now next question now next question you can see Question number five is similar as that of question number four. 
Question 6 is also similar. Now we can see question number 9. It is different type of question. Raju sold. Raju sells a watch at 5% profit. He had had he sold it for rupees 24 more. He would have gained 11%. Find the cost price of the watch. Now question number 9, 10, 11 are similar type. So we are going to solve question number 9. So in this question, we will let cost price again. We will let cost price as 100. And because he was having profit of 5%, so selling price would have been 105. But they are saying that if he would have sold at 24 rupees more, he would have gained 11%. So again, in the next case, if cost price as 100, then selling price would have been 11% more it is given. So it will be 111. Now here from here, you can see the differences. Difference of the selling price is coming as rupees 6 so difference of difference of selling price is equal to 111 minus 105 which will be equal to rupees 6 So again we will find this with unitary method when rupees 6 more then cost price of the watch CP of watch is 100 when it would have been rupee 1 more then cost price would have been 100 upon 6 and when it would have been 24 more then cost price would have been 100 upon 6 into 24 so this is 400 rupees this was the cost price which you have to find for the watch this is the cp of watch so just have a look to the question question number nine student in the next video we are going to solve the problems of discount